Hello friends, welcome back to She's in Her Apron. Well, the Hughes family is driving home from St. George. Yes, we are. And we've hit some nasty weather in some spots. Mm -hmm. It's snowing in some parts of Utah. Seriously. And lots of wind. Lots of wind. <laughs> Everyone's just bored. And boss. Bored, bored. So we are headed home and we're going to get ready for tomorrow, so come and join us. All right, now that we're home, we are going to get all the food put away. That's all refrigerator stuff, and then everything else just put back. The tile is really cold. So cold. Why do we have feet? Look at, we got snow on our mat and on our pumpkins. There's snow on these chairs. No, I am not ready for winter. Like, fall doesn't last very long here in Utah. What needs to get this off? Rubbing alcohol. I think I have rubbing alcohol in the linen closet and in a white bin, and you can rub and get all the sticker stuff off. Okay. All right. All right. Let's put this stuff away. I need all dirty clothes empty from bags in the laundry room. All right, so Jonah is first dibs with the washing machine. Um, dinner, what do you guys want me to make? I've got all this leftover chopped romaine from taco salad. Can you make dad order some pizza? No, we're not gonna order pizza. I can make pasta. Mom, where's the... Hey, Mom. Maybe I'll do that pasta with salad. That solves that. We're gonna do pasta for dinner. Some will have Alfredo sauce, some will have pesto. And I have leftover romaine from our trip. Where to use my food. So, <laughs> I'm Jimmy rigging with Jonah's takeout box. My tripod. Well, there's actually food. So, that's what we're gonna do for dinner tonight. Pasta and salad, so. We put Paige in a boarding place, and we're all dying to get her out and see her. She's at the place we <coughs> train her at. Yes. So they're at my training her right now. She's also they're also gonna bathe her, and she's there with the other family dog. So she's not completely lonely. It's Izzy and Dixie. But it still makes me sad. She's there. So we were in charge of one meal with the whole family and this is what we usually do when we go on vacation. Um, and we had dinner last night and we made taco salad. So I brought two bunches of romaine and we brought lots of cans of beans and we brought four pounds of ground beef and created taco beef, um, taco meat. And so dinner was yummy and we had it with chips and everything. Oh, before we got ready to go on this weekend trip, I went to Sam's Club and Costco because I ha am working on which is better, in my opinion, Sam's or Costco. So I'm hoping that that video gets out to you um, either the end of this week or the beginning of next week. Let me share with you that haul, Sam's and Costco. All right, friends, today I have a Sam's Club and a Costco haul. Costco, let's get to it. Of course, my kids' favorite granola bars, the soft and chewy. They're the best. They're so good. And I haven't had to buy these for a while. They, they went through a slow phase, and now it's cranking up again. Two packages of romaine lettuce. We're going out of town this weekend, so uh, one will be for taco salads. That's what our family is making for dinner with the whole big group. And then one for home. Some mandarin oranges. Oh, I had two in the car, and they're delicious. Yum. 
some diced tomatoes. In my storage room, I have petite diced tomatoes, which is fine, but there's a couple of recipes that I need the diced for, so I grabbed a box of that. Their muffins, oh, their muffins are so good. So you grab two boxes, um, you get to pick two six packs, and so I grabbed the pumpkin streusel and the chocolate. And then Clorox wipes, finally found some. So I grabbed a packet of those. There, This is a five pack. So we have fresh scent and crisp lemon. And then some tape. The tape was on sale, so Christmas is coming. I've already been Christmas shopping. I did buy four Christmas presents during the Costco haul, but I won't be sharing that with you because then I'll give it away for the people that watch, the, <laughs> the family. So I grabbed more cinnamon. We're very low, very low with all my baking. So this is the kind that I get at Costco and it's yummy. So I grabbed that. Some ultra clean laundry detergent. I really love the Kirkland ultra clean free and clear. Love it. If I can't find this, then I will use all free and clear, but we absolutely love this one. Some country time lemonade. Um, I like having this on hand and having it in the back of the food storage. So um, the kids are going through the pink lemonade one right now, but I wanted to grab a lemonade one. Uh, and I'm going to try to store this long term. And of course, I'll share that with you. The Bush's baked beans were on sale. So grab more of that. We love that. We, we just love Bush's baked beans. And then some saltines. We were all out of this for a while. I thought I had another box in my food storage room, but nope. So got to have these on hand when you don't feel well. We're going through the peanut butter, so I grabbed another Jiffy cream. I love Jiff. Jiff is the best. It really, really is. Okay, I grabbed their lunch meat, the Kirkland Extra Lean Ham. This stuff is so good. So good. I did buy the Sam's Club version, and um, I'm going to let my kids make the final decision, so I'll let you know. Duracell batteries, they were on sale, and we go through... The, uh, these double A's? Yeah, double A's so fast with the kids' remotes and, and gadgets and things. Some unsalted butter for all the holiday baking. I am good on salted butter, but I needed unsalted. Pie crusts, unroll, fill, and bake. These are the Pillsbury. These were, there are eight individual rolls, rolls in here, and it's actually a really good price. So grab that for the holidays. Some rice and cauliflower packets. Derek really likes these. They're easy, easy to heat up and add to a meal. So yum. And, oh, and toilet paper. Grabbed us some toilet paper. Oh, I also bought their tissue paper. 400 sheets of tissue wrapping paper. So this is going to last us a very long time. I mean, we won't even make a dent in this for this Christmas. So this is going to last forever. So this is Costco. And then we have Sam's Club. So grab some cafe style on the border chips. I'm gonna be taking these on our trip with us with our taco salad. Oh, this isn't. <laughs> One more, it was over on the Sam's Club side. We have Annie's Extra Cheddar Cheesy Smiles. So, like cheesy poops. So, we're gonna give those a whirl on our trip. Doritos to go with our taco salad. Tostitos for salsa. Um, I'm gonna keep these at the house, but we're gonna take this on the trip with us. All right, so grab some spices. I grabbed cilantro, I've always wanted to have the dried cilantro when I can't get the fresh, so big container of that. Some pumpkin pie spice, I was out of mine. Some lemon extract, this is what I use all the time in my Christmas cookies, and I got it, and I, I should be good for the season. So that, that should do me for the whole Christmas season, because I go through a lot for my Christmas cookies. And then bay leaves, instead of buying the little bottles of bay leaves, going for the big guy. All right, here is the members mark, the, their Sam's Club, their, their premium ham, and we're going to give this a taste test. I've gotten both, and the kids haven't said anything, but I want to know definitively what is their favorite. So I'm going to have that them try and see. 
some grapes, sweet celebration red grapes. Yum. Um, Nestle Toll House milk chocolate morsels. You know, Sam's Club has dark chocolate, semi sweet, and um, milk chocolate. So I got I grabbed milk chocolate this time. Um, Costco didn't have any of the black label fully cooked bacon. We love this. This is quick, easy, easy. So, um, so I grabbed it at Sam's Club. Their muffins, they had blueberry. Costco had blueberry, but I'm not a fan of their blueberry, so I want to try Sam's Club and see if I like them any better. Oh, this is not Sam's Club. All right, so guys, also for the Costco haul is some pie pumpkins. So we're gonna make pumpkin pies with these. All right, some mild yellow, yellow cheddar cheese for our taco salad. And then I love the vegetable medley. This is my favorite medley. Of course, you can find it at Walmart too. And it's broccoli, carrots, cauliflower, washed, ready to go. I love seasoning these up, roasting them. This is my favorite. And then some tomatoes. We're going to take these on the trip with us too. Yep, we grabbed more of the Canada Dry regular ginger ale, blackberry, and cranberry. We loved it, so I'm going to hide this one because we literally flew through the other one. So I'm going to give this one uh, a little hiding place. We're going to give this a spot and hide it. And uh, we'll whip it out for Thanksgiving. And um, yeah, it's so yummy. The blackberry, I'm, I mean, I am head over here, heels with the cranberry, but that blackberry, oh, I just wish they would make a diet. That would be nice. And this is my Sam's Club and Costco hauls. Okay, just started the little, little crock pot that I have with some yummy smells, things like this. So I have gala apples in here with the mandarin orange that was turning dark and with some pumpkin pie seasoning and that is just going to make the house smell so yummy and cozy. So Boston has a class party tomorrow and um, <laughs> everyone can bring a treat and it's Sunday and we don't want to go to the store. so. I bought these for trick-or-treaters. I have other trick-or-treating treats. So he's probably going to get 35 to 40, maybe to half this box. There's 80 in here of these mini Rice Krispie treats. And then he could take that, and that's his contribution to the class party tomorrow. Okay, so trick-or-treating at the end of the week. So we have Play-Doh for the little ones. Okay, so we have 45 packs. And there's double stuffed Oreos and there's um, orange Oreos. And I thought they were minis. They're actually two cookies to a package. That's cool. And then we have half of this box left. And then we have the Oots Halloween baths and jack o' lantern uh, pretzels. So instead of doing candy, we're gonna pass out something a little bit different. So we are set for Saturday for trick-or-treaters. I'm uh, filling up a pot of water to cook the pasta in. And we need to empty the dishwasher, so I'll get some of the kids to come help with this. All right, with our pasta and salad, I wanna make garlic bread. So I'm making the Italian bread from the Food Nanny Rescues Dinner. This is a really good Italian bread. So it makes two loaves and we'll make garlic bread out of one loaf. Can someone go out to the garden and see if there's any there's no tomatoes that may be okay to I cut don't into? Think there is. Can you just, even if there's just one there's, for the salad. Because when I looked before we left, they were all Yeah, gone. that snow we just got probably just kissed them goodbye, but. Derek's gonna see if we could get any nice, yummy garden tomatoes for our salad. All right, he's out there looking. See what he finds and he gets back in. All right, what did you find? Some, but they may not make it. See, they might just be frozen, which is why they still feel fair and firm. All right, well, we'll put them out and see what we get. All right, we'll see how we do once they thaw out a little and chop them up, but hopefully we'll have a salad with some red tomatoes. We'll see. 
Okay, I'm gonna make this come along with me and I'll share with you the Food Nanny's Italian loaf bread. Okay, so I'm getting my yeast mixture ready. So you're gonna need three cups of warm water. And then to your water, you're going to need one and a half tablespoons of yeast or two packets of yeast. I keep my yeast frozen. I keep it in the freezer. After I open the packets, I use a big brick of yeast. Okay, and then you're gonna need a half a teaspoon of sugar. Okay, we're gonna try to dissolve this yeast. And we're gonna let this sit for about five or 10 minutes. It's gonna get big and bubbly and foamy. I've got my Bosch out. This is what we're gonna mix everything in. All right, the yeast mixture is gonna do its thing. Okay, you're gonna need a tablespoon of salt. Two tablespoons of sugar. You're going to melt a fourth a cup of butter. Add your melted butter. And then you're gonna add your yeast mixture. One thing that I love about her recipe is you can use all purpose flour, which is awesome. If you don't have bread flour or any of that. I'm gonna add three and a half cups of flour. I'm gonna keep adding flour a half cup at a time for a total of seven cups. And the dough should be firm and completely away from the sides of the bowl. If the dough is sticky, then we'll add a fourth cup of flour at a time. And this will knead on low for 10 minutes. Oh, I love the smell of dough. That smells so good. So what we're gonna do is transfer it to a greased bowl. We're gonna put it in and then flip it over so that way it's all greased and this is gonna sit here covered for about 20 to 40 minutes and it's gonna double. I'm gonna cover it with this white cheesecloth or I call it also like a bread towel. <laughs> Now I'm going to put this in my microwave because it's a nice warm spot for this to do its thing. All right, that looks awesome. So, so I floured my surface and I am going to punch this down. I'm going to divide the dough in half and form it into a 10 inch long loaf. Cut some slits in it and let it rise. Okay. I want the egg white. I'm gonna beat this and then we're gonna rub it on the top of our loaf. I'm gonna rub the egg white on it. You can also put some sesame seeds on top if you want. Uncovered, we're gonna let this double for another 20 to 40 minutes. Okay, this is ready to go into the oven. The oven's almost preheated and we'll throw this in. In the meantime, I am gonna start on our salad. Got our bag of romaine here. I'm gonna sprinkle this with some red onion. All right, we're gonna cut into these tomatoes, see how they do. Ooh, not bad at all. All right. All right, add some cucumbers in. And some celery. All right, I am going to add some carrot in. It's, this cuts it into fun strips, little strips in there. All right, I'm gonna put some salt and some cracked pepper. And we have our salad for dinner. Yum. Okay, that is ready. I'm gonna salt my water. I am gonna add some penne in. I'm actually doing two pounds of penne. All right. Get this going, the bread is in the oven. 
so by the time the pasta's done, the bread will be done. Uh, you cook it for 30 minutes. It's been in the oven for a few minutes now. And uh, we'll, I'll heat up some sauce and we will be ready to eat. Okay, I have the pasta going. I have Alfredo sauce heating up, some tomato red sauce, and then pesto. And then some pesto in here. Would you look at that? Oh, it smells so good. Okay, I'm gonna turn one of these into garlic bread. Ooh, this is piping hot. So now I am just getting some butter on there. I'm gonna sprinkle some garlic salt and get it under the broiler. Oh my goodness, you guys. This smells so good. Oh, yum, garlic bread. Okay, for me, I couldn't decide between all the sauces, so I have a serving with each of them, and then my salad with Olive Garden dressing. So this is our dinner tonight. Yum!